Hi gamers, if you're looking 2.5D Metroidvania with good graphic, then you've come to the right place. This time, I will share you 20 of the best 2.5D Metroidvania games that you should play. Please note that 25D can have various definitions, but in this case, it refers to a 3D game with 2D gameplay. Your character will only be able to move left, right, up, and down, but won't have access to the depth of the map. Alright then, without further ado, let's get started. Romancevania combines a visual novel with Metroidvania gameplay. You will play as Dracula, who has been recruited by the Grim Reaper to star in a reality dating show. The game features in-depth weapon and magic-based combat, exploration-based platforming, and a cast of monsters to romance, befriend, or eliminate. The gameplay itself feels a little clunky, with combat lacking police and weapons underwhelming. The Metroidvania component is big, and the graphics are a real rock mix of 2D and 3D. However, the game has been praised for its character and visual novel aspect. If you focus is primarily on the story and characters, Romancevania can still provide an enjoyable experience. Three Thousand Duel is a side-scrolling action game heavily inspired by Dark Souls. In the game, you play as a hero with no memory who wakes up in unknown land and sets out on a journey to find answers. The game's combat mechanics are strong and vary depending on the equipped weapon type. There are three different weapons in the game: swords, short swords, and lances. The magic plays an important role in the game, making combat more interesting and allowing players to try out different strategies. To maintain balance, the game uses a stamina meter. This meter controls dashing, not passive attack. This mechanic encourages players to think strategically as they manage their stamina to overcome challenges. Tower Hunter Erza Trial is a roguevania that has two modes of difficulty, a roguelike mode and easy mode. You play as Erza, who must free a magical tower by defeating its inhabitants. There are five main types of weapon, and each run offers a random weapon with the possibility of finding better version of the dungeon. The game had interesting mechanics, including a wide range of upgrades, unlockable special attacks, and the ability to swap our up ships during gameplay. Animation have been refined, and bosses now have visual flair, enhancing the overall experience and making boss battles more epic and memorable. Hunter X. It's an action-adventure game that provides exciting gameplay with its responsive and stylish combat. It offers various ways to succeed and allows you the freedom to customize your protagonist who wears a blazer and wields a katana. The gameplay revolves around gradually acquiring new skills and abilities while exploring a complex and intricate world. This includes defensive maneuvers such as guard and dash, as well as offensive options such as powerful projectiles and collectibles hidden in treasure chests. The game has a 2D platformer style, and the graphics are designed to be simple and clean, with a focus on the gameplay. Aitora is a Metroidvania game that takes players on a journey with Aitora, the last human being left in a wondrous world threatened by an ominous cloud. The game's objective is to uncover Aitora's past by exploring, fighting, and surviving through cloud forests, dangerous temples stormy cliffs, and more hand-painted biomes. The gameplay is simple, with movement comprising a dash and jump, and combat consisting of basic combos. Both fights are notably easy, with predictable and easily available attack patterns, making their difficulty equivalent to regular enemies. The overall experience is visually appealing, leaving players crafting a more fulfilling gameplay experience. Strider 2014 is an action game where you play as a fearless warrior who slashes through enemies with great agility. Combat in the game involves fighting enemies with specific weaknesses indicated by their colors, which adds a strategic element to the gameplay. The inclusion of boss battles introduces a refreshing change of pace featuring dynamic moves and presenting unique challenges that test player skills and creativity. The game has a smooth and precise control system, making you feel like an unstoppable force on the battlefield. Locked doors tease you with promise of hidden powers and surprises, tempting you to explore and uncover the full extent of your warrior's abilities. Castlevania Lord of Shadow 
Mirror of Fate is the is an upgrade version of the game Castlevania Lord of Shadow Mirror of Fate. The game follows the intertwined stories of the three characters, Simon Belmont, Trevor Belmont, and Alucard, as they navigate through the eerie halls of Dracula Castle. The gameplay reminiscent of Metroidvania style, players use a map and objective icon to guide them through the castle, engaging in battles against zombies and monstrous strike dogs and undead knights. The game combat allows players to use light and heavy attacks, as well as special moves and combos, providing players with different ways to approach and defeat various enemies and counter. Heroine Anthem Zero Two Scale Cards Out This is a sequel to Heroine Anthem Zero, and it's an improvement on the first game in almost every way. This time, you play as Sama, a side character from the first game, with the ability to perform ranged attacks and nimble maneuvers and challenges the player to master all of her moves which make up a high skill sailing for such scroller, along with newly added gameplay system including the companion, cooking, and crafting system. This game looks amazing, it combines 2D 3D elements to create immersive environments such as ancient temple and misty forest. The music is great and matches the mood of each scene. This addition further enhances the gameplay experience and provides additional depth to the game. Little Noah Scion of Paradise is a solid roguelike game that excels at delivering a cute and enjoyable action game. The narrative revolves around Noah, an alchemy prodigy, exploring mysterious floating ruins in her airship. The gameplay mechanics resemble a cute version of Dead Cells, where players explore randomly generated 2D levels, fight enemies, and collect valuable drops. The combat system involves utilizing Lilliputs, summon creatures to execute combos and powerful attacks. The order of arranging these Lilliputs adds a strategic element to the gameplay, allowing for unique combinations and satisfying combat experience. Trinity Fusion is a roguelike action platform game that blends the Metroidvania and roguelike genres. The concept of roguelike action game with multiple paths and character sharing XP and upgrades is undeniably appealing. Combat is described as fast and responsive. The controls offers a mix of light and heavy attack, gliding with invisible frames, air dashing, and clocking. The variety of weapons, from hammers to plasma blades, adds excitement to the gameplay. The game's three characters have distinct gameplay styles, with different story sections and environment. Enemy variety and well-animated bosses contribute to satisfying and fire battles. The randomized superpowers provide additional offensive options, and I hope the developers will continue to improve them during early access. Shadow Complex Remaster is underrated 2.5D Metroidvania with great about exploration. The game follows the story of Jason Fleming and his mission to find his captor girlfriend and uncover the motives of kidnapping faction. This game has pretty good combat, players have a lot different weapons to choose from, such as pistols, submachine guns, shotguns, and secondary weapons like grenades. This variety can contribute to dynamic and strategic gameplay, allowing players to choose their playstyle. There is an option to play in steel, but shooting enemies is what the game is mostly about. If you're in the market for a solid Metroidvania title, then Shadow Complex Remaster possibly met your expectation. Darklight is a cyberpunk supernatural Metroidvania with souls-like and unique combat mechanics. The game has a certain charm to it that becomes apparent as soon as you embark on your quest to eliminate mutant zombies. The gameplay in Dark Light is both challenging and enjoyable. Your character has a variety of movement abilities that encourage exploration such as rolling, countering, and double jumping. Combat is as simple as the platforming, with melee and ranged attacks. The game features a one-of-a-kind mechanic in the form of a drone companion that can be controlled separately. Since every move in combat uses a certain amount of energy, energy management is essential. Improving your character damage, health, and energy becomes critical to survival. Sante Half Jenny Hero is a Metroidvania platformer that captures the essence of classic platforming with a modern twist. The game introduces Sante, a half Jenny with a variety of forms and magical abilities. Its form brings unique abilities that enhance the platforming experience and add elements of strategy to exploration. The platforming action is not only well-tuned, 
but goes above and beyond to keep players engaged with hidden collectibles, upgrades, and well-designed stages. From the vibrant colors to the catchy soundtrack, this game is full of charm and enthusiasm, making it definite stand out in the Metroidvania genre. Vigil The Longest Night is a captivating 2D action adventure that blends elements from the Souls-like genre, offering players a journey filled with secrets, plot, and monstrous adversaries. Combat revolves around a stamina system, and players can wield a variety of weapons such as swords, bows, and heavy weapons each with its own playstyle. The skill tree weapons constant and fun leveling up, allowing players to customize their character's abilities and improve their arsenal. With its rich lore, intriguing quests, and the ability to shape the story through major decisions, Vigil offers a memorable and replayable gaming experience. Grime is an exceptional action RPG Souls-like with a Metroidvania style. Its intricate world, finely balanced combat, and devious platforming make for a compelling and rewarding experience. The combat mechanics strike a fine balance between attacking and absorbing enemy breath, adding complexity and depth to every encounter. The variety of weapons and their distinct movesets offer a granular spectrum of playstyles, allowing you to adapt and experiment with different strategies. Boss battles in Grime are particularly challenging, with each encounter requiring careful observation and adaptation. While the difficulty can be intense, the sense of accomplishment that comes with defeating this formidable foes is very satisfying. Forge in Shadow Torch is a Metroidvania action game featuring exploration, intense combat, and stunning 3D graphics. The combat mechanics are suitable and impactful, making every punch feel satisfying. The addition of three different fighting styles, including a giant drill and electric whip, opens up a wealth of exciting attacks combinations. Unlocking new attacks and combos further enhance the experience, making the fights dynamic and engaging. Smooth maneuverability makes the game's expensive map a pleaser. Abilities such as double jumping, wall climbing, and air dashing make platforming a satisfying experience. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night has emerged as the spiritual successor to the acclaimed Castlevania series, offering an intriguing blend of modern and retro mechanics. The story follows Miriam, a shardbinder who awakens after 10 years slumber to a world filled with demonic powers and chaos. The combat in Bloodstain is a highlight, with Miriam wielding a variety of weapons and adopting demonic powers through shards. The shards add a layers of strategy, allowing players to customize their playstyle, whether option for defensive tactics or unleashing long-range attacks. The addition of fast travel system and more forgiving gameplay makes it accessible to all players, including newcomers. And the release Quietus of the Knights has been highly praised as a Metroidvania game due to its captivating blend of challenging combat, atmospheric storytelling, and customization options through spirit abilities. The game takes a unique approach to combat mechanics, initially leaving the protagonist Lily defenseless and relying on the Umbral Knight for combat. The ability to purify and use the spirits of defeated bosses introduces a strategic element and encourages players to experiment with different spirit sets. Building on the customization aspect of games like Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, the game surpasses its predecessor with a more elegant and flexible system. In addition, the game focus on mood and tone is enhanced by dark visuals and a stellar soundtrack, creating an immersive experience for players. Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition is a Metroidvania game that visually stunning and also offers a challenging experience. The story revolves around Ori, a forest spirit who embarks on a quest to restore lights to the forest and save the land from decay. The gameplay is based on Metroidvania genre with a large interconnected map and the gradual acquisition of new combat and traversal abilities. Ori movesets expands allowing for thrilling exploration and platforming challenges. The ability Ori's best move, which allow them to bounce off enemies and projectiles, adding depth to both combat and puzzle solving. The game cleverly combines platforming challenges with creative puzzles, resulting in satisfying gameplay experience. Metroid Dread 
it has been praised as one of the best action game of 2022. The game stayed true to the formula established by the 2D Metroidvania games in this series. Metroid Dread lends more towards combat than its predecessors, with fluid and satisfying combat mechanics. The game introduces new mechanics such as quick melee strikes and finishers, which add to the excitement of taking down enemies. It's always exciting to discover well-designed power-ups that serve as useful exploration tools. Of course, the visual aspect is also important. As Metroid Dread is the first SD version of the series, it's no surprise that as visual Dread showcasing a beautifully crafted world. And that's it for today! What do you think about this list? If you know another best 2.5D Metroidvania games that I haven't mentioned yet, feel free to share them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and make sure subscribe if you don't want to miss another great list. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.